In all sectors of employment, women in Ghana earn lower incomes. Despite efforts made in economic growth and poverty reduction, the gender wage gap shows the distribution of these benefits remains unequal. This situation, as captured by the Ghana Statistical Service, raises concerns about the treatment of women in the workforce and households. The government's attention to a situation like this was drawn in the report of the Prosperity and Tiamwa Baby Committee report. In, in June 2020, and no action had been taken on the Yan Tiamwa Baby report to address disparities in public sector salary. Then it's not only worrying, but it's very disturbing. Beyond the equity concerns lies the crucial need to formulate policies to bridge the gap and deal with systemic barriers. While individual characteristics such as education, working time, skills or experience explain part of the gender gap, a large part has been attributed to discrimination based on one's gender. It's very demoralizing, especially when you create a situation where you are not living in dignity, where your dignity is undermined. That's a very disturbing development. And in, and in some places, you see, where workers are giving, for example, okay. uh, let's say 20% salary increase. Those in management also take 20% salary increase. When they shouldn't. Several professionals, for instance, complain about poor remuneration and compensation. There was a day I did um, an estimate for a man, and he was like, ah, I thought you are a lady, so yours will be lesser than men. And I was like, please. What's your reason? Then it was like, basically have a, a guy who will be giving you your app kits. So why do you have to charge like the men? The United Nations estimates that globally, women are paid less than men, with a gender gap of around 20%. What is clear is that while equal pay for men and women has been widely endorsed, applying it in practice has been difficult. As far as addressing disparities in public sector salaries, nothing has been done. What has been done is only for the president and members of parliament. And okay. some have been taking more than they deserve. I will urge members of boards of directors to shine their eyes and look at how salaries are administered in especially public sector institutions. In an earlier earnings inequality report, the Ghana Statistical Service reported an average difference of 165 cedis between the net salaries of men and women in Ghana. Some have advocated transparent measures to help reduce the gender pay gap. Christian Yali, TV3 News.